Hi, Marcus Conti, investigative journalist. <clears throat> Incidental whistleblower. Ah, it's cold here in New York. It's like 30s, it's like 20s, 20s. In strong wind, too, like 20 mile an hour winds. So, uh, a little proof of life today. We'll talk about uh, the, I guess, the horse race, Roy Moore versus Jones down in Alabama. Alabama, Santa Sea, Alabama. And uh, what else? A little Cuomo news, a little Mario, uh, Andrew Cuomo news, and uh, a little bit on Liba. So, so there was the horse race. You, ever got, you guys watched the horse race last night? It was uh, Alabama State Senate uh, race, uh, special election running for fill up, um, fill up uh, Jeff Sessions' seat. Remember Jeff Sessions? So they took his seat, and uh, you know, you know, what is it? A big, big deal. I'm no Republican. I'm no Democrat. You know, it's like watching a horse race because they all have the same donors anyway. So, you know, who cares if you know if Moore would have won? But it doesn't really matter, you know, because look, you know, it, it's a, it's, it's actually a disgrace to the Democrats that the Democrat they outspent Moore three to one, Jones. They, uh, you know, the guys, they smeared him. They got the story to stick that he's some sort of, you know, pedophile and, uh, you know, from 30 years ago. It's all ridiculous. And people are so fucking stupid, really, that they believe these stories without researching them. So now the Senate um, Democrats are one away from, one away from majority. That's pretty heavy, you know. And, uh, you know, what does that mean? Now we're going to get more Russia, Russia, Russia. We're going to get more Trump, Trump, Trump. Fire Trump. Russia, Russia, Russia. Anyway, but that's that's the story in the news. People seem to be fixated on that. And um, I was doing more more looking into the uh, Andrew Cuomo, mayor, uh, governor of New York's New York State, with these ghost employees. It turns out that it's a bigger thing than, uh, than we anticipated. I don't even know if... True Pundit knows about it. I, I, they, True Pundit confirmed that there is an FBI investigation. But it seems to be pretty big. It seems like he had some, some you know, 50 employees being paid from outside agencies to do his, you know, slave work. He had, like, guys $125,000 a year, and they were, you know, like two or three of them were speechwriters. Speechwriters? Who was it's the last time Andrew Cuomo gave a speech? Paying these guys three hundred three hundred thousand dollars going out the back door for speechwriters, shit don't add up, man. Ghost employees, ghost employees, you know. And uh, what else is in the news? Uh, oh, I got a little a little tip on Liba. You guys are supposed to have a contract. Listen, I know that this is a you know that we're, we're, that that the DSNY story is in many respects very small time, and this is not. You know, Edward Edward Snowden or Chelsea Manning or any of any of that, but it has it has a it should have a profound effect on people. You know, we're changing city policy based on you know one person standing up. So I just wanted to say about um, Liba that someone told me that there was supposed to be a contract confirmed by December four. What happened? <laughs> what happened? It's December. We're already in December 13th. It's almost Christmas. Oh, no contract? I don't know, man. Oh, and I, I guess I, I need to apologize. Sometimes I, you know, I'm not just a, I'm not just an investigative journalist. Whoa, there's the wind. Sorry. About that. I'm not just an investigative journalist. I'm not a, um, you know, I'm I'm also a victim in this. So sometimes, if I if I seem you know down or shucking or or broken, you know, bear with me. I'm trying my best. Peace out.